Hey Emily, have you ever ordered something online and then obsessively checked the tracking status every few hours? Oh, absolutely, Jake. It's like a mini adventure on your phone. You get to see your package journey across cities or even countries. Right? And speaking of tracking, today we're diving into the world of Supai Express, a common carrier for Temu packages in Canada. There seems to be a bit of confusion and, frankly, frustration among customers regarding their tracking statuses. Yeah, I've seen some of that feedback. Let's start by breaking down what these tracking statuses actually mean. For instance, when Supai Express says an item is shipped, it's not just floating around somewhere. It means the seller has officially handed over the package to Temu for processing. Exactly. And after shipped, there's the import customs clearance success status. This one's pretty straightforward. It means your package has passed through customs and is now on its way to you. And then there's to deliver. This status means your package is queued up for its final journey to your doorstep. Usually, Supai Express aims to deliver these packages the next business day. Out for delivery is another exciting status. It means your package is literally on a vehicle, making its way to you. Most of the time, if your package hits this status, you can expect it to arrive that very day. Lastly, ready for pickup means you can go to a specified facility to collect your package. It's a bit of a hassle, but sometimes it's the quickest way to get your hands on your order. Now, while these statuses are helpful, there's been a fair share of complaints from Canadian Temu customers about Supai Express. For starters, there's the issue of non-delivery to doorsteps. Even when customers specify their addresses, some find themselves getting a text saying their package is ready for pickup instead. That's frustrating, especially considering the distance some people might have to travel to pick up their packages. And then there's the issue of non-responsiveness. It seems reaching out to Supai Express often leads nowhere. Right. And let's not forget about the tracking page not updating regularly. Imagine the tracking jumping from shipped to out for delivery without any updates in between. It's enough to throw off anyone's plans for the day. Absolutely. And then there are the more serious issues like packages getting stolen or delivered to the wrong addresses. It's disheartening to hear stories like Rock's, where his package was dropped off and stolen because it wasn't kept in a secure location. With all these complaints, it begs the question, why does Temu still use Supai Express? Well, it turns out, it's mostly about the shipping fees. Supai Express charges some of the lowest rates, which aligns with Temu's policy of offering free shipping for most packages. That makes sense from a business perspective. Plus, Supai Express has a specific geographical focus, operating between China and Canada, which suits Temu's needs. And despite the complaints, they seem to have a good cooperation level with Temu. For those wondering if they can avoid receiving packages from Supai Express, the answer is yes. You can request a different carrier when placing your order with Temu, especially if it's a more valuable package. It's always good to have options. Now, we'd love to hear from our listeners. Have you had any experiences with Supai Express or Temu? Share your stories with us on social media or through our podcast platform. And if you're curious about more details or want to dive deeper into this topic, we encourage you to explore further. There's a lot to unpack here, no pun intended. So, Emily, diving deeper into why Temu sticks with Supai Express despite the complaints, it seems the low shipping fees are a huge factor. It's interesting how cost efficiency can sometimes outweigh customer satisfaction issues, don't you think? Absolutely, Jake. It's a classic business trade-off. Temu's decision to prioritize low shipping costs with Supai Express makes sense from a financial standpoint. They're able to offer free shipping on most packages, which is a big selling point for customers. Right? And then there's the geographical focus of Supai Express. Operating specifically between China and Canada fits perfectly into Temu's logistical needs. It's like finding a puzzle piece that fits just right. Exactly. And despite the responsiveness issues, it seems Supai Express and Temu have a pretty solid cooperation going on. It's fascinating how these behind-the-scenes dynamics play out and affect our shopping experiences. Now, 
For those wondering if there's a way to avoid Supai Express when ordering from Temu, it turns out there is. You can request a different carrier or opt for express shipping, especially for more valuable packages. That's a great tip, Jake. It shows that while we might not always have control over every aspect of our online shopping experience, there are still choices we can make to ensure a smoother delivery process. Definitely. And it's all about knowing your options and making informed decisions. Now, we're curious to hear from our listeners. Have any of you found ways to navigate around carrier issues or have tips on ensuring a smooth delivery? Share your insights with us on social media or through our podcast platform.